All right. Well, I was trying to announce touchdown. Coach Swenson and Team CR on the board early. Looks like Young Red is getting up a little bit gimpy, number 12. He'll toughen it out. And just off the hands of his receiver, unable to get the two-point conversion. But after the score, your new score, 6-0. to zero. CR on top. Now we're on day one pool play right now, so none of these games are going to count towards eliminations. <laughs> Team CR has come all the way from Little Rock, Arkansas. And I don't know if my camerawoman can zoom in. If you look over there on the sideline, the coach wearing the dry fit uniform and the camo hat along with the long white socks as if he's about to hop on the field is Coach Reggie Swenson, former Dallas Cowboy and Super Bowl champion, out here with his own team. He's the, spon the official sponsor of Team CR, hence the CR, Coach Reggie. With the snap, gets it over to the big man on the sideline, and he gets a catch over here in the corner on the out route. Be good for about five yards by the big tight end. Oh man, and I, don't, it, I wasn't even sure if that ball was meant for number one. I thought he was trying to hit up the tight end on the sideline. Looked like number 86 missed the catch. And number one bailed him out on the sideline. Let's get an instant replay of that one. That was a nice catch. Great focus by the receiver. And this is how I can really tell the, there's a new age in football. I couldn't even play football without having socks on. I see all these ankle socks on the field. That's that new age athlete. I think it makes them faster. They don't have the ankle socks on. They got on ankle socks that makes their ankles more streamlined. They're able to run faster. I'm fat. I, I wouldn't know about that. That's why I have the tube socks. Running back in the backfield. Quarterback's going to roll away from the running back. Guns one in there, but it bounces off the chest of his receiver. And that'll bring up second down out of their own red zone. <laughs> A lot of commotion going on in the crowd. With the snap, throws the ball towards the middle of the field. And the big man comes down with the touchdown. Looks like he hit up his one of his tight ends. And they'll go for the two-point conversion, coast to coast on the board, tying up this ball game, trying to take the lead for the first time in three quarters. With the snap. Oh man, some physical play. Flag on the play. And they'll get another shot at the, they'll get another shot at it. Let's get an instant replay of that last one. Just so the folks at home can see what we're singing down here on the field. With the snap. 
and great defense by Team CR. Ace Boogie in the hoodie. I can't see his number, so I just made up a nickname for him. But he's able to come through with the pass defense. CR going over to offense. Well, we got Coach Reggie back on offense. We'll get a chance to take a look at the boys from Little Rock, see what they can do with the football now that they've got the ball back. With the snap, looks to his left, comes back towards the middle of the field. Guns went in there. Oh, he caught it. Did he catch it? I don't know. They're, they're coming back. I felt like he caught it. Let's see a replay of that one. If it hit the ground, it hit the ground quickly. They got that play in there quickly. They're back at the line of scrimmage. Even formation. Running back coming out the backfield. Guns it towards the sideline, and that one's a little bit too low. And that'll be two incompletions in a row. Well, while I have a moment, I want to give a big shout out to all the people who named teams after themselves. So we got Super Bowl champion Reggie Swinton. He named the team after himself. And then we've got my boy Prime Waits, who named the team after himself as well. I don't know if he's got any championships as a player, but he got some as a coach. Shout out to the Dallas Prime. They'll be in action tonight going head to head against the Dallas Assists. And hold on. Let's see what the. There was a catch. The crowd thinks there was that that was past four seconds. I can't say that I'm sure. We got a referee hasn't moved down here, but the other referee seems to feel like there was a much uh, enough time. Coach is upset. The crowd's upset. Everybody's mad right now. <laughs> Still no decision. Let's find out. Boy, <laughs> I would be so upset if somebody called me that. Oh man! Oh, the pants are spitting fire out here. I know you didn't need my mic. You better not have needed my mic. Oh man! That was that was the most crucial insult that I've heard all day. A hey, little yellow boy. Oh man, I'd be too. I'd be so offended by that. Shout out to my little my little yellow brother Julian Stewart. He's a pretty one with the waves. I'm still taken aback by the parents who said little yellow boy. Ooh, man. Anyway, back to the snap. Quarterback rolls out to the outside. Oh. Somebody's going to bring up Little Nas X and talk about the, <laughs> the L that we've taken recently. It's okay. <laughs> we shall rise again. <laughs> With the snap, rolls off to the right. And another off-target pass to the same area of the field. Nine minutes, 13 seconds left to go.
and a big time throw and catch. And Coach Swinton, Coach Swinson, and the team CR are in a commanding lead right now. Seven minutes and counting here in the first half of action. Not quite sure if that was a touchdown. I'm assuming this is no. Nope. All right, it was a touchdown. That was a two point conversion. So we got confirmation. <laughs> Certainly got a lively group of parents out here today. Go tell Kirk, because nobody got on helmets on this squad. <laughs> Swings it down to his running back. Running on the sideline. Was able to pick up some nice yardage on the run play. Excuse me, on the quick little toss play. Minutes remaining in the first half. Five minutes left to go. With the snap, falls back. Oh, and it's broken up by the linebacker. Big 31. Able to get in there and separate the receiver from the ball. <laughs> With the snap. Right, and we've got an injury on the field. We're going to take a quick break to get a word from our sponsors. We'll be right back after the timeout. order t-shirts or other merchandise? Searching for a simple fundraiser for your school or team? Need a logo cleaned up or created? You have found it. Spirit Supply is here to help. For over a decade, Spirit Supply has specialized in custom printed t-shirts, decorated apparel, and spirit items. Our Texas location gives us the ability to make on-time delivery and customer service a priority. The fundraiser offers schools and organizations free artwork designs on up to 22 apparel items. Register, approve designs, receive catalogs, and share your free web store link everywhere. The rate earned from each item is on a sliding scale. The more items sold means more money back in your pocket. After two weeks, finalize your sale, receive your funds, and watch your supporters show off your custom gear. Order entering is a thing of the past. Your time is valuable. Contact us today. We are excited to get started on your event shirts, fundraiser, or your next logo design. Oh, 
All right, it's Channing Humphrey with Semi Pro Live. We are back. We're here with the runner-ups of the last matchup. We're gonna give them a chance to represent their program. Now, first off, we're gonna start off with the hardware. So the runner-ups of Battle of the Best Waco Tournament will be the elite. Let me hand this on over to the coach. Let's get a hand for the runners-up in the tournament today. Hey, these boys fought hard. Now, Coach, man, uh, what tournament was this for you and your boys? How long have you guys been together? We've been together, man, about four or five months, man. We just got this team together. We ain't been in the program that long, but, hey, it's our first tournament. First so, where, tournament. so where do you guys come from, and, and what schools do you guys represent? We're from Bryan College Station, Texas. Oh, okay, okay, yes, okay. Sir. So not that far, but you guys came to a certain distance. Your boys played hard. So tell us a little bit more about the community that these kids come from. And if somebody wants to get their their child involved with your program, how do they do so? So our program is was we from the Brown College Station area, man, from the east side, College Station, every every side, man. We take any kid. We never turn no kid away. You know what I mean? Hey, we got some some hard some hard nosed kids. I'm gonna say that, man. And uh, hey, man, we do this program. We started this program because uh, we want to keep these kids off the street, keep these kids active. You know what I mean? It ain't about winning or losing, man, but these kids came out here, they fought hard, hey, they were disciplined, and, uh, hey, the better team won today, man, and we'll be back, definitely, most definitely. All right, Coach, do you have a player of the game? Uh, Tracy Collins, man. Tracy. Come on up here, Collins. Come on up here, Collins. Oh, man, Tracy. Well, hey, man, he tried to hide at you. Definitely put on a great performance. Got your team into a championship matchup only four months after being together, man. So what was the key to you having all the crucial plays that were able to get your teammates in this championship game, big dog? <laughs> what's, what's our three mottos? One, two, and three. Tell them what's one, two, and three. Pride, discipline, and the best. Pride, well, let me get some of that pride real quick, big dog. You put on a great performance, man. And in life, you're not always going to end up with a championship. But you definitely put on a great show today. So, man, let us know, man, what class are you in? What school do you currently attend? And what year will you be graduating? Christian, fourth grade. All right, man. Now, is there somebody you want to bring some attention to that's always had support for you that maybe isn't? Yeah, point to point. Bring them on up in here, big dog. Yeah, yeah Davis. Introduce yourself. I'm Davis. <laughs> All right, man. So, man, you guys definitely put on a great performance. Now, what's funny, I probably would have grabbed you to give the final message, but your quarterback right here was so kindly through you in the interview. So at the end of every interview, I always find some random kid to give me the message for this squad. I picked this one right here. Oh, Boom! Yeah. Come on up Biggie. to the front, man. Oh, All right, man. So next time they're going up against the elite out of Bryan College Station, what do they need to know about this squad? Uh, that we don't give up and we keep trying. All right, man. I don't know a better way for you guys to break it out. Or I'm going to let you guys break that one out. Let's go, break it out. Come on, let everybody know who he is. Let them know who he is, RJ. Free roll, let me free roll, three. One, two, three, free roll. Oh, man, no problem, man. And that'll be the final word from Semi Pro Live. We are back, coast to coast, going head to head against Coach Swenson and the boys from Little Rock. They are in the red zone, trying to get their second touchdown of the day with the snap. Big hit after the play, but touchdown nonetheless. Coast to coast on the board.
Well, hey, I'm pretty sure we have the ear of Kurt, man. Hey, Kurt, man, I don't know why only one one referee is keeping score and all the other referees act like they can't tell us what the score is as if that's impossible or makes their job more difficult. But it'd be nice if all the referees knew the score. In the future. <laughs> Especially for the parents. Especially for the parents. Or even the coach, man. If the coach is trying to make a, a coaching decision, and he might need to know what the score of the game is before he makes a crucial decision. It'd just be nice for him to have that information. All right, and that'll make bring up third down. And this is the best defense that Coast to Coast has been playing all day today. And at the end of the day, this is what you want to see from your team during pool play. They don't have to go undefeated during pool play. You just want to see if they're getting better with each matchup. And this is a much improved defense in this matchup than they were in the last one. All right, back to the action. Do we have a scoreboard update? I have 19 points in that. 19 to 0? 14, but I think I'm off point. Coast to coast up, or? Um, Team CR is up, but I think coach, I missed it. Coach Swenson and the boys trying to protect the lead. Four receivers to his right, two to the bottom with the snap. Pump fakes, delivers a strike. He guns that one in there. What's this song? I mean, all right, sorry about that, folks at home, about not giving you guys an update. Oh, nice catch. Touchdown, Coach Reggie. Team CR with the touchdown. Doing his best Reggie Swenson impersonation as he gets that one in there for the touchdown. But uh, just to notify, we got some, some uh, comments from the folks at home. Noah, we are in Texas. We're in the great state of Texas. We're on the west side of Fort Worth over near White Settlement or 
if you're from the DFW, we're right around the corner from Co Lake Como, Texas. Shout out to all my Como people. And these these are not Lamar High School players. No, but we will have some Lamar. We will be covering some of our high school events in the future. And we're at Brewer High School. If you have any more questions, feel free to chime in. We'll try to keep you up to date as much as we can during the live stream. But we got 10 minutes and 30 seconds left to go here. Your game is 25 to 14. They're going with a double bunch formation on each side with the running back coming out the backfield. Finds his man out here on the corner. Oh, I love the way he turned. Oh. And those were some great movements. He did he did not get him on the initial tag. A little bit of chippiness on the field. We just passed the 10 minute mark. Second half of the game. This is championship time. Oh, he's going up top. Oh my god. And I feel like the receiver missed he misjudged his jump. He had a real opportunity for making a play right there. That'll bring up second down for Coast to Coast. Now, this Coast to Coast team, uh, I'm just going to judge by their logo. They're from Louisiana and Texas. So, shout out to all their fans. Appreciate you guys tuning in. With the snap, falls back. Oh, delivers a strike on the sideline, and I like the pepper he put on that football as he got that one out with some real zip on the football. <laughs> with the snap. I'm gonna have to mic up these parents. Uh, oh no. Hey, 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 look, producer, you need to be quiet. All right, you know what I'm saying? Whatever in football, somebody's out athleting you, there's only one thing you can do. <laughs> there's, only, there's only one thing you can do if somebody's out athleting you, and that's to get physical. I'm not gonna take away no tool from this kid in the football game. <laughs> Throws the ball. Touchdown, Coast to Coast. And they needed that touchdown in the worst way. That quarterback comes in and delivers a strike, putting them in the end zone. Let's get the replay. He falls back, scans the field, and just guns that one in there. Great play.
a nice throw-in catch by number zero on the sideline. He completes that pass out to the out route to the receiver. All right, folks at home, I know we're getting around to sharing it again. If you're just now joining the broadcast, this is Semi Pro Live. We're here live at Battle of the Best, live from Brewer Field at Brewer High School in beautiful Fort Worth, Texas. We've got in the blue and highlighter green is Team CR, and the CR stands for Reggie, for Coach Reggie, as in Reggie Swenson, former Dallas Cowboy and Super Bowl champion. Going head to head against the boys from Texas and Louisiana, coast to coast. Huh? Oh, they are coast to coast. It's coast to coast, producer. Yeah, that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? Part of your job as producer is quality control. You're supposed to know that. You can't be correcting me wrong. All right. All right. Back to the action. Oh, he guns one in there. Oh! And Red almost gets it on the second chance. And I'm not just calling him Red because of his hair. It's because that's what's on the back of his jersey. With the snap. Oh, he launches one. Touchdown! They're running it off. It will not be a touchdown. He was outside of the end zone. Coast to Coast will take over the ball in this tight matchup. And this is just the opportunity they needed to get back in this one. You're watching Battle of the Best. It's not a touchdown. It's not a touchdown. Battle of the Best, Fort Worth. We're out here at Brewer High School. This is pool play, so none of these teams will be eliminated from any of these matchups. And the big man makes a big play in the middle of the field, going up above the receiver, making a nice. Two minutes and 58 seconds left to go. And the clock is hot and running. Coast to Coast is trying to pull off an improbable comeback. With the snap. Guns it in there. And number 31, the linebacker, gets in there. Lots of fan support for that young man. As his mother may have had a heart attack out of joy after that play. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what'll happen if he gets an interception. <laughs> we might have to care flight somebody up out of here. Two minutes left to go in the game. And another pass defense. One minute, 46 seconds. They've got to stop focusing on the crowd and what the defense is saying to them. And they've got to lock in so they can score. Because no matter what the defense is saying after these plays, it's not going to matter if they can't win the game. He's got to push the ball down the field. Pump fakes. Finds a receiver. But the four-second countdown. And that will be a turnover on down. And Coach Reggie, and Coach Reggie and the boys look like they will be cruising to a victory. 
Hey, Hebrew. All right, 15 seconds left to go in the game. And that will be a complete pass to number 12. That'll end this ball game. Well, don't touch that dial. Immediately after this, we've got a team that came all the way down from Kansas, and they should be going head to head against Mike Evans' lead. But your winner in this matchup will be the boys from Little Rock, Arkansas, Coach Reggie Swinton, and Team CR victorious today, Varsity Division. We'll see you guys next time on Semi-Pro Live. Give us about five to ten minutes, and we'll set up for the next. Uh, this is Shannon Humphrey with Semi-Pro Live. We're back with another championship moment. We're swing over to my guy. I usually have Kurt over here, but I got my main man from the Katy Tournament. He's going to introduce himself, give us some more information about what this team has just won and how that will affect their future in Premier Uh, this is Shannon Humphrey with Semi-Pro Live. We're back with another championship moment. We're swing over to my guy. I usually have Kurt over here, but I got my main man from the Katy Tournament. He's going to introduce himself, give us some more information about what this team has just won and how that will affect their future in Premier Events tournaments. Hey, guys. This is uh, Cortez with uh, Premier Events USA. I'm the state one of the state directors. Uh, the AU, this is the future. Future of 7-on-7. Seven seven. These guys came out and competed. The game was phenomenal. And on behalf of Premier Events USA, we want to we want to give the championship trophy to Mike Evans, 8U Elite. Congratulations, coach! All right, coach, man. So this is I like that. Now this isn't the first time I've had a Mike Evans presented a trophy or not even the first time I presented a trophy to Mike Evans group today yes. what is it about this particular seven on seven program that just breeds championships well speaking on my team you know first of all it's a good bunch of kids and we got second last place first place this time so we're getting better so that's good but they trust each other they trust what we're doing and uh, it's the hardest working group I've ever seen so they're they're fun to coach they make it easy on me and um, I'm really impressed with what they're doing now this is the youngest group actually in the tournament some of, a lot of these kids still in elementary school. A lot of these kids are on programs that primarily run the football. Yeah. How do you get these kids in your program and get them up to speed with flag football where they're able to win championships or be in championships right off the bat? Well, you know, Mike Evans does a lot to get kids out there, and um, so he's good about, you know, he comes out to practices, and uh, it makes it fun for the kids. And then, um, you know, throwing the football, when I was asked to coach an AU team, I was like, man, can they throw? And we come out here and they're, uh, they're throwing the ball around. So, um, you know, hard work and, and repetition, repetition, repetition. That's how you throw the ball. So they look good. All right, Coach Way. Well, it's a championship moment. This is one of their first ones. So I'm going to let you hand this off to them because they probably will never get to touch it again. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a hand. Jaden, Lou, Lou. And your, your player of the game. Uh, uh, player of the game, that's Caden Williams. Um, so, so Caden, 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 I believe. Look, now, Caden, I believe I have another trophy for you, uh, MVP trophy. So we got some hardware for you right here. And then I also got one more thing for you. <laughs> it's a huge shirt. Sorry about that. But it's a free shirt. Got a semi-pro live shirt. A little bit dry fit going on right now. 
Now, the reason I, I would have given him a spirit supply shirt, but I, you know, we, we'll get him a spirit supply shirt. This one's better than the ones I had on me. Now, with that being said, man, I just want to know, man, what kind of effort, what did you do to prepare yourself to have a performance like you did today where you were the MVP of the tournament? Uh, <laughs> that's the answer. It's alright, man. It's alright. It's a big work, moment. Hard work and repetition. What he said. What, he said. <laughs> what coach said. Hey, that's always a good answer. Just point at your coach what he said. So anyway, I'm gonna make it easier for you. So is there somebody who's here or maybe not here that you want to give a shout out to? That's always giving you support, or maybe that person gets you to practice all the time. Dad. Everybody's dad's name is Dad. Let's put a name on it. <laughs> Chris. Shout out to Chris. Well, anyway, man, at the end of all these interviews, you guys, if you've seen the show, you know how it goes. I always pick some random kid who's going to give us a final message for the Mike Evans elite. I want this kid back here. There we go. Oh, Jaden. Oh, he was back there hiding, man. Get up here, big dog. This is your moment, too. You just won a championship, man. So you're coming off of your first seven-on-seven seven championship moment, big dog. Next time a team plays this Mike Evans team, they're going head-to-head -head with you and your teammates. What do they need to know about you and your squad? About winning the game? He kept it simple. They're going to win the game. That seems like, hey, I don't see anything better to break that. I'm going to let you guys break it out one time. All right, let's go. Who knows? I know, I know. I know, I know. Hey, hey, hey. hey. We're going to Get it, Get it, and that'll be the final word from beautiful Waco, Texas. Battle of the Best 2021. We'll see you guys next time.